the Honorable Andili Tiangjoni Baravi to deliver her end of the week statement. You have the floor, ma'am. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, sir. I thank you for the opportunity to make this end of week statement, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, most of us sitting in this honorable house sometimes in our lives have experienced a sense of insecurity, of fear, in case the rooftop on top of our heads fall down, sir. Fear for our loved ones, the fear for our safety, fear of death during natural disasters, sir. If there was a safe place to get quickly to, we would, within seconds, round up our loved ones and get to that safe place, where we can be with other family members, community members, our leaders, other women, youths, and children. Mr. Speaker, sir, the safe place, or the house of hope, in other words, the evacuation centers, come community hall, churches, place of worships, is our only hope for safety, for our survival, when natural disasters happen and there is no existing evacuation center in our community. There is a need, Honorable Speaker, sir, to strengthen existing community halls, churches, etc., which have been used as evacuation centers, or build new community centers or repair churches to ensure that everyone, every citizen, has an evacuation center to relocate to when disasters happen. <coughs> Having said that, Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank the Minister for Defense and Disaster Management yesterday for his update on the two recent cyclones. As we know, this is the new norm, especially for us in the Pacific. We know that cyclones are now more frequent and more severe. We have been informed in details, Mr. Speaker, sir, of government's efforts to ensure the safety of our people, to provide relief supplies, to ensure the uh, restoration of electricity, to ensure that damaged roads are promptly repaired so that food supplies, not only for those in dire need, but also for trading purposes, reach the people and are available to the people, to ease the needs of travelers as well as civil servants and volunteers involved in damage assessments and distribution of relief supplies and the members of civil societies involved in relief work and the business community in supplying the basic needs to our people. We are grateful for the efforts of government and civil societies to bring about relief to the members of those communities that were affected. We are also grateful to the volunteers, Mr. Speaker, sir, who have sacrificed both their time to assist in the voluntary work that, is, that has been provided by government to ensure prompt relief to those that were affected during the recent cyclone or in all previous cyclones. Whilst we are grateful for government's efforts to ensure speedy recovery, Mr. Speaker, sir, we equally need to look beyond the structures that we have now. We need to ensure that we have evacuation centers readily available to every community, both rural and urban, for the safety of our people when natural disasters happen. Almost every village has a Valle Nibose Vakoro, or village hall, or a village church, which have been used as evacuation centers. And for other communities, there are places of worships or gathering halls. These are the buildings which government can assist to ensure that they are cyclone-proof or have engineering certificates to provide safety houses for members of the village or community when natural disasters do happen. On that note, Mr. Speaker, sir, since independence, the Alliance government, led by the late Terambale Tunayao, Officer Kamise Semaro, have assisted communities to construct halls as evacuation centers. This was continued by the SVT government under Major General Nabuka and the SDL government under the late Mr. Lese Nian Garse. It is unfortunate, sir, that this initiative and allocation is no longer available. Without evacuation centers, sir, schools are used, and where schools are far away, there is risk of death or injury for members of communities in the path of severe cyclones. This is a cause for anxiety and fear in the community and has a cost for affected families, communities, and the nation. 
Mr. Speaker, sir, the education centre was also severely impacted by the recent cyclone, as alluded to by the Honourable Minister for Disaster Management, with more than 90 schools damaged across the country. Mr. Speaker, sir, as in the past, schools have been used as evacuation centres. There are risks involved in damages being caused due to cooking and for other reasons. All schools in Fiji had to take another extra week in order to be able to rebegin the new school year. We can avoid further absences from school if evacuation centres are located in all communities, sir. I also refer to the um, uh, information provided by the Honourable Speaker yesterday, uh, Honourable um, Minister for Disaster Management, in his ministerial statement yesterday, where he confirmed that immediately after the storm, T.C. Yasa had passed, close to 23,000 Fijians were temporarily relocated to 456 evacuation centres. Some of those evacuation centres were schools, Mr. Speaker, sir. We express our appreciation to the Australian Defence Force and the Fiji Military Forces for their work to repair 32 schools to open in time for the new school year, the 19th of January, and this ensured that more than 8,000 students returned to school. On that note, Mr. Speaker, sir, we'd like to propose that government considers changing its policies to ensure that all villages and communities have engineered proof, approved community hall of evacuation centers or churches, which can be used as evacuation centers, sir. We need to comply with our own constitution as well as our commitment to the Sustainable Development Goal of the United Nations, sir. On that note, I'd like to ask government through the Minister for Disaster and Development to consider what we are proposing today to ensure the availability of evacuation centers for all communities. The earlier response to one of our questions uh, to provide a number of evacuation centers in provinces will not work, Mr. Speaker, sir. For Televu North, a community, um, an evacuation center to be built in Matadula, if there is a cyclone affecting the people of Dasam, how are they expected to get to Mat Matadula for safety during the cyclone season? I thank you, sir, for the opportunity to um, participate in this end of week statement, and uh, I wish all members a safe uh, uh, journey back to their homes after this session, sir. Now I live.